Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and today I'm here with a new vlog concept. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. So for this vlog, I decided that can we trust current chapter? Can we trust her reviews? Can we trust her favorites? I already know that I probably can, but I'm letting you guys know with my taste, with her taste, what are we feeling for the sci-fi fantasy genre? Let's get into it. So I already went through her favorites a couple of months ago when I was contemplating this idea and I thought about filming it, but you know what? I'm just gonna tell you what I'm reading now because I already know Daniela's favorites. I don't need to go through them and pretend again. I feel like the reaction will never be genuine because I already knew what books I wanted to read for this challenge. So we'll start off with the first book and the book I'm currently reading, which is The Martian by Andy Weir. From what I understand, this is a book about a man named Mark Watney who is left behind on Mars by his crew who thought he was dead and now Mark so far in the story Mark is trying to survive he's just made the potato farm which is the only thing I knew about this book this is a book I bought quite a while ago maybe like four years ago around the time when the movie was coming out or the announcement of the movie was coming out and I was super interested in it I am 100 pages in so far and I don't know if it's my general mood every year towards November December I start to like fizzle out from reading I start to like go into like a reading slump the first 100 pages have been funny but I wouldn't say they have been like thrilling or captivating or like keeping my attention somewhat so I'm wondering if it's that or if it's me but right now we're getting to like an interesting part because at this point now NASA is aware that Mark Watney is stuck on Mars and he's alive so I feel like it's gonna get more engaging more interesting I am liking the characters at NASA in a way I find them more interesting than Mark Watney but whatever looking forward to finishing this then I also want to pick up the first three volumes of Full Metal Alchemist by Hiromu Arakawa and I surprisingly don't know anything about this series at all what I know is that it is about alchemy obviously which is the mystical power to alter the natural world somewhere between magic art and science and then i know that through alchemy like it changes two brothers like two brothers are dabbling in this concept and i know that it really affected them physically one of them loses an arm and a leg and the other one becomes like stuck in this like iron being i don't know if you can see it properly so really looking forward to this i've heard nothing absolutely nothing but good things about this and if i like it maybe i'll watch the anime i've been in an anime mood lately then i couldn't do a current chapter's favorite books vlog without reading something from neil schusterman which is one of her favorite authors so she's been wanting me to read this for a while i've been wanting to read this for a while i decided to go with scythe this is the first book in the arc of the scythe series that follows this basically in this world there's no death but ow fuck there's no death by like hunger disease no war no misery humanity has conquered all these things and death so in order to like control the population there are these being called scythes that go around and kill people from what i understand in order to keep the size of the population in control and this follows two characters named citra and rowan and they're chosen to be apprentice scythes really looking forward to this i have only heard good things about this as well so super excited i hope i love it and then finally a book that i've been wanting to read for so long we have sleeping giants by sylvain nouvelle first of all i'm pretty sure sylvain is from montreal yes he is so love supporting quebec authors we love to see it yes. this from what i understand is another sci-fi book. Are they all sci-fi? Does this count as fantasy or is this sci-fi? I think they're all sci-fi. So this is a sci-fi book that follows, I think it's a bunch of case files and it's about a girl named Rose who when she's riding her bike, she comes across a hole that has a bunch of like intricate carvings. And when firemen come to save her, they see her in the palm of a giant metal hand. 17 years later, people are studying the origins of this and they will never stop searching for answers apparently. So super looking forward to this again heard nothing but good things these three i'm really looking forward to because i feel like it can go either way right now i'm not enjoying the martian as much as i thought i would but i don't know if me and andy weir's okay let's talk i don't know if me and andy weir's writing vibes um because i read one short story from him which was in the amazon forward collection and i really didn't enjoy that one that much i think mark watney as a character is like trying to be too funny and i don't know if i'm vibing but let's hope i vibe with these other ones this one i'm pretty sure i'll like whether i give it a five out of five stars will be something super exciting to see but i'm pretty sure i'll like this one so that's it for now i will update you probably when i'm a bit more into the martian so i will see you then bye
release a new day. It's also the day I finished The Martian by Andy Weir. I just think me and Weir, we're not meant to be friends. We're not compatible. We don't get along. Hold on, I need my matcha. I love this mug. The first thing I read from him was a short story in the Amazon Forward collection that was a, like a bunch of short science fiction stories. Even in that one, I really didn't like his writing. I think Andy Weir like really tries to be funny and he just doesn't make me laugh. The things that I didn't enjoy about this book, I think are the things that everybody loves and the things that I liked about the book are the things that everybody hates. So for me, what I really enjoyed was the NASA portion. So the portion that really looked into NASA and also looked into the other spaceship which I think was called Hermes. Those dynamics between those people were really interesting. Mark's time on Mars was just not interesting and I think Perhaps it could have been more interesting if I liked Mark Watney as a character, but I think the problem is that I did not enjoy Mark Watney and being alone with him and his thoughts was super boring. Another thing that I really didn't appreciate about the book is that there's no like real consequences to Mark Watney being in Mars. For example, there were situations that were going bad. Like one of them, I remember directly, there was like a hole in his suit or in the habitat, whatever. It's not really a spoiler because Mark solves it. I don't know. I just didn't feel like there was any real threat. Like every other page something bad would happen and then a page later Mark solved it. There was nothing engaging about Mark's time on Mars because I knew he was gonna survive. So I just never felt like this was a thrilling book. So I ended up giving this two stars. I know, I'm sorry, I know that's controversial because I know a lot of people love this one, especially um, Daniela who I'm doing this video for. This is one of her favorite books and I just didn't like it. But I do think this is a case of me just not vibing with Andy Weir's writing. I think a lot of people do vibe with his writing and a lot of people enjoy his books. It's just not for me and that's why my vlogging was so lackluster for this book because I just didn't want to read it and every time I read it I was annoyed. So I'm sorry but first book for this project a two out of five stars i'm sorry so the next book that i'm reading i'm liking a lot more it's full metal alchemist by hiromu arakara first of all i didn't know that the author for this book and thus the creator of this universe was a woman so i'm super hyped about that i'm super excited to read this book now obviously so this collection has volumes one two and three in it and so far i've only read volume one but i'm actually really enjoying this i was a bit apprehensive i've been apprehensive my whole life i mean how long has this been out probably since I was 10 at least. I've always been like apprehensive of watching the anime and thus reading the manga later on in life. So I'm actually super happy that I'm enjoying this. The humor is really on point. Something that I love about anime is this like boyish charm that I'm really enjoying. I like the origin of the brothers. I think that that's a really interesting story and I'm very excited to see where the overarching plot goes. I do have two other like three in one volumes of this so if I enjoy it I think I'm just gonna go straight in and read the other ones. I think I have up until volume nine which is super cool. So far what's happened is that we've just really been introduced to the main characters. We learned a bit about their origin story and a bit on how alchemy works and the rules of alchemy. I think the way that Arakawa introduces her magic system and the world building in the novel is super interesting because the two main characters are a perspective that know the world but the outside characters looking into their lives don't know a lot and so I think that this aspect, this way of storytelling is super interesting as a reader so very excited to continue this I just finished filming my wrap up so I just wanted to do a quick check in and update you on the fact that I finished Full Metal Alchemist. I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars. I'm really surprised to how much I enjoyed this because I don't know why I had some apprehensions about it but I did and I ended up really liking it. I really enjoy the characters. I especially love the brother dynamic between Edward and Alphonse and I also really like the additional characters that are sprinkled around the book like the other state alchemists that are in this. I really enjoy. The villains are quite interesting. This is one of Daniela's favorite mangas and I can definitely see why. I love the characters. I think the plot is super interesting and I know she loves a good plot and I think it's just so sweet and wholesome and I think that that's something that Danny really appreciates. So I'm guessing that's why she likes this series so much but I definitely think it's because the plot is super interesting. So I'm definitely keen to pick up more. I have the two other volumes in this edition so I will certainly be picking them up soon but yay! 
finally a success. So I'm taking a break now to read two other books and then once I'm done those I will move into the next book for this vlog so you will know in two seconds what it was but I won't know for probably another week so see you then. Hello so I'm trying to have some b-roll footage for this vlog so it looks like I do things. Me and my sister made cookies. I know they look a bit weird but they're oreo cheesecake and they're cooling and I can't wait to eat them. <laughs> Wow. Hello, I'm here for a little update. My face is red because I just worked out, but I wanted to update you because I am halfway through Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle. So I'm about at the one. 50 page mark. I'm really really enjoying this. I think the way the story is told is in like an interview format found documents kind of situation which is something I really loved about Illuminae by Jake Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. That was something that I adored about that book and I thought it was super interesting and an interesting way to captivate readers in like a different format. I, I know you know what I'm saying. So some fucked up things have happened. Some like kind of like spooky shit is happening so I'm super intrigued to see where it's going but yeah really enjoying it it's going by super fast and i feel like i can bang this out pretty soon so wish me luck here for an update on Sleeping Giants which I did finish and I ended up settling on a 3.5 stars. I do have a pimple patch so if you notice it, ignore it please. Thank you. So I decided to give this a 3.5 stars because while I loved the story and there was a lot of like really fucked up things happening, especially the like last line of the book, I'm shook over it and I did like the plot enough that I did purchase the second book in this series to read but the thing is, is that usually books that get a five star review from me end up having characters that I feel like I can cling to and I don't think there were any particular characters in this book that I really enjoyed like there were some that I liked, but they never like pulled me in and made me like really feel for them some fucked up things happened to some of the characters and I was like whoa what the heck but at the end of the day there wasn't one that really made me feel for them you know what I mean so I settled on a 3.5 stars because I'm still really interested to see where this story is going I think for a beginning novel it did a great job at opening up the world and making us like super excited which I really enjoyed and I'm looking forward to this world expanding something that I would have liked to see is maybe if some things were resolved in this book which I don't really think there was enough resolved. I think if you read this book you'll kind of get what I'm saying. Do I love the aesthetic of this book? Yes I do. The aesthetic alone five stars. This is what originally made me interested in this series. So yeah super interested to continue this and I'm looking forward to the rest of the series. It just wasn't a personal favorite for me. Next we're going to move into the book of all of these books that I think I'm going to enjoy the most and that's a bit frightening. This is a series that I was interested all on my own not even just for this video so I'm a little bit scared, a little bit terrified. So far Far, I'm only 20 pages in and I like the character of Citra. Is that her name? Yeah. Citra really intrigues me and we've just met Tiger. I meant the character of Rowan. I fix this later. Do not judge me. Bye. And Tiger intrigues me also. Like they're both characters that I think have interesting personalities and I'm excited to see where they go from here. Hello, so I haven't updated you in a while, but that's because I have been completely enamored with Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I read this like in two days and I'm already at page 342. I have about a hundred pages left. 
I mean, I know people said this was a good book, but holy fuck is it good? So basically, now that we're further into the book, I could tell you that we are following two characters named Rowan, and I know I said Tiger previously, I don't know where my mind was. We're following two characters, one named Rowan and one named Citra, and they both become Scythe apprentices to this man named Scythe Faraday. And at this point in the novel, I'm not going to get into it because of extreme spoilers, I mean, I'm almost done. But Neil Schusterman's writing is so captivating. I absolutely don't even want to put this down. Every time I put this book down, I just think about it because I'm like, what's gonna happen? And I just filmed my December TBR and I didn't put Thunderhead on it because if you watch that video, you'll see. But I don't like putting books that I think I'm going to give five stars to because I don't want a book to kind of surprise me at the end of the year as I'm like formulating my thoughts and knowing exactly which books I'm going to put onto like my favorites list, my least favorites list. So I just really, I don't want books to surprise me. I just want happy books and books that will keep me in a good mood into 2021. So I don't want to pick up Thunderhead for this reason because I think Scythe, Unless something really like disgusting and something I hate happens at the end of this book, this might be a five star, even a 4.5. It really depends where this book goes, but I am loving this. And if I put Thunderhead on my TBR, I know that I'm also going to love that one. So I'm just avoiding that. She's staying in the TBR closet until January. <laughs> this is potentially the book I like the most throughout this whole video. So this is super exciting stuff. I will try to finish more of this. I've read the majority of this actually during reading sprints and I really, really love them. Originally, I used to never watch reading sprints because I was like, whatever I read when I want. But now I'm like, holy shit, these really help because during the 20 minutes, I'm actually reading because I have the distraction of the video of the talking later. If you've never watched Reading Sprint, this is coming at nothing. But basically, I've been watching Tammy and Monty sprints. I will leave a link to both of their most recent sprints down below in the description if you guys ever want to use those Reading Sprints to inspire you like they've inspired me. But I'm going to continue watching a Reading Sprint that I missed, finish this book out, and probably come talk to you in like 20 minutes. This is crazy! Five stars. Oh my god. This was amazing. Amazing. If you have not picked up this book, I highly, highly recommend that you do. I think the writing, phenomenal. The characters, the characters are so well developed and even though they've had different experiences being scythe apprentices, they are still true to themselves from what they originally were at the beginning of the book. The plot, phenomenal. The twist at the end, Holy fuck, I did not see that coming. That was not what I was expecting at all. I thought I thought things were going a different way. This was truly one of the best books I've read all year and that's so surprising to me. I really didn't expect to get this from the book as you saw from the rest of the vlog. Me and Danny's reading tastes are a tad different, but it seems that we agree on Neil Schusterman. So I'm definitely giving this a 5 out of 5 stars. The writing really impressed me, the characters really impressed me, the plot really impressed me. Everything about this book I think shocked me. That's why I'm leaning towards giving it a 5 stars. Originally I thought the romance between the characters in the book was going to annoy me, but then you know I love that good good angst. I, that bad boy, I'm bad boy. <laughs> angsty romance. It was perfect i'm so surprised how much i love this so let's review the books i read and what i gave them because if you're just jumping to the end to know what i gave here you are so first off <laughs> i read the martian by andy weird this seems so long ago and so far from what i just the high that i'm writing off right now i gave this two stars 2.5 stars i think it's two stars this was for one, boring. And for two, there was no consequence at all in this book to any of the actions the characters were doing. And I just felt like even though this was about a man trying to survive on Mars, it was super unrealistic for the world building that it gave. And I'm sorry that I did not like this one. Then I read Full Metal Alchemist Volumes 1 to 3 by Hiromu Arakawa. And I ended up giving this four stars. Loved it, thought it was adorable. And I'm super excited to continue. Might pick up 
the second volume soon. Then I finished Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle and I ended up giving this 3.5 stars. I think it has a lot of potential. I think I'm going to really enjoy the rest of the series. For a first book, I feel like it could have had far more development done. Maybe make it its own rounded off story instead of just a building off platform. But did really enjoy this. Did find the writing super easy to get into. Loved the format of the novel and I'm looking forward to reading more. And then of course, the baby the best book i read this vlog scythe by neil schusterman five stars perfection could do no wrong will be picking up thunderhead as probably one of the first books i'm going to read in 2021 loved it and that's it that's it for this vlog i really hope you enjoyed it it's a bit different from what i usually do like a secret tbr type of style i hope it was fun i mean i'm in it's a pandemic i'm not doing anything interesting to vlog for but if you do like my content don't forget to like this video leave a comment down below subscribe ring the notification bell argue with me in the comments because i love to debate if you like or hate any of these books let me know because i love arguing and that's it i will see you next time i don't know how to end these things okay bye